Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Alex from Wise Energy here, and today I've got the 300 amp hour SafeBat Lite and the free 14 amp hour SafeBat Pro. This one has a 200 amp BMS. This one has a 300 amp BMS. This battery is entirely Australian designed, manufactured, uh, delivered everything. Where it came from was the need for a battery with this sort of capacity in a small footprint. So you can see it's really nicely built. It's got steel framework that holds the BMS, another plate on the other end, straps keeping it in tension to compress the cells, which is important for lifespan. It was sold as a 300, but in reality has 314 amp hour cells. And the same logic can apply to both, uh, except this one we're selling as a 314. But the logic is the cell low voltage cutoff is raised on this one. So if you send it completely flat, it's still got some energy left in the cells. So if it was say in a motor vehicle or a caravan and it got sent completely flat, it's not actually completely flat. So then that way the cells in self discharge, if it's left for a month or two, won't be damaged. Now that can be either option. So that can have a 10 volt cutoff if the customer chooses, or it can have an 11.8 volt cutoff and same with that. So basically it's either 300 amps usable and a higher cutoff or 314 and a lower cutoff. And the lower cutoff is, is in keeping with every other battery on the market. So there's nothing wrong with it. It's sort of more about application dependent. Now it's only got a 200 amp BMS, which unfortunately is a bit light on for a three kilowatt inverter. So for a caravan or an installation where you've only got one battery, this one doesn't quite have enough. This one with a 300 amp BMS uh, is more suitable for those applications. And this battery is the improved version. So this is version one, this is version two. This now has a CNC milled uh, poly plate that holds the BMS, uh, flexible bus bars everywhere, so no more cable. The cells are laser welded, as you can see here. Um, Earring's very, very nicely built. It's got CAN bus, which is a great feature. So that connects directly to a Victron GX, uh, as well as many other inverters. And it reports state of charge, voltage, current, cell voltages, temperature, really, really helpful. And the reason there's two ports is it's stackable. So you can then daisy chain more batteries off it as the need you know, arises. It's also got Bluetooth, it's also got Wi-Fi, and it's got built-in active balancing. Now the active balancing isn't really that required because the cells are very closely matched uh, because they're very, very good cells. This one's got passive balancing and you can still see at the top end of charge, it balances perfectly. But you know, this is the improved one. It's got a one amp active balancer. Um, I have had some people comment on the fan in an enclosed box. The testing I've done and I've seen, the fan's really there to move the heat away from the FETs and just immediately cool that section of the BMS. Even in a sealed box, it, it performs fine. And in most cases, the fan doesn't actually run uh, because the high load operations are infrequent normally, but it works fine. And even if it did get warm, it, it will protect itself before it, it does any damage. Same idea, cells are strapped in compression, a different method though this time. So this is a, a really highly tensioned cargo strap basically, but it works very, very well. And the important part is that these batteries, the cells and the pack itself are tested to IEC 62619. And what I've seen a lot of is battery manufacturers in Australia having IEC 62619 for the cell, but not for the assembly. So that's as a pack. And the reason it's important is the Australian standard AS3001 for portable applications, motor vehicles, caravans, all those types of things, tiny homes, calls that standard. So if you've got a caravan and it was, you know, built or you're fitting a battery to it and it's 2025 now, that standard is enforced and it points to 62619. And so you, you basically have to have it for it to be compliant and legal. These batteries have both, be, both been tested to that. Uh, as well as the 51.2 you can see in the background. Um, it's worth paying attention because uh, as a pack, some of the tests are really important. So 
bearing in mind a battery to be sold in Australia doesn't need that certification. It's only called in by that standard. So in other applications, you don't require it, but in a, in a mobile vehicle, uh, you do, or, or a portable office site shed, all those types of things. The pack testing, the part that is important that isn't part of a cell test is a drop test, a over voltage charge test, an over current charge test, and a temperature cutoff test. And so they're, they're just covering off the real basic, basic safety requirements uh, for the battery. But I won't make this a real long video. I might show it quickly connected to a Victron inverter so you can see the sort of data you get out of it. Uh, but if you've got any questions, reach out and call us. Thank you. Okay, so you can see here I've got a Victron Touch 50 on a servo, and I know there it's saying there's a uh, 58 volt power supply, but that's okay. So I've got the battery sitting here, and I've got the Victron CAN B cable, and I plug it into one of the two CAN ports, which is a little bit difficult one handed. And over here, you can see now the battery's appeared. So I can go into the battery. I can see the current battery voltage, state of charge, state of health, temperature, uh, the lowest cell voltage, the highest cell voltage, um, temperature again, the current capacity. So it's saying 266 amp hours because it's 85% state of charge. You can see if there's any alarms. It sends the parameters to the Victron, the charge voltage, the charge current limit, the discharge current limit. So it's really, really neat. So as part of the ecosystem, the battery now appears there. And if you add more batteries, they just stack. So you go plug one to the next to the next. You can actually see this is a finished one here. And there's a little can port down the side there. So that's a completed unit. Now, both are in stock the 314 or 300 I should say with the 200 amp BMS and the 314 with the 300. If you'd like a 200 amp BMS model set up as 314 with the lower voltage cutoff, that's absolutely possible. Same with this. If you'd like this to have the higher cutoff, absolutely possible as well. And so the higher cutoff, the only benefit really is just if it was in a motor vehicle, say a caravan, and you send it completely flat and then ignored it for three months or something like that, and the cells start uh, getting very low in voltage due to self-discharge, that will stop that problem from occurring. It's not always going to be an issue, but it, it helps. And so thanks for watching. Um, hope you've enjoyed the little video. Any questions, feel free to reach out and ask me.